Hey gang, Scott here. I've got a quick tip for you today in Lightroom about pushing colors into a more pastel palette. And the key adjustment for this is going to be the dehaze slider, which is uh, kind of interesting. I found this to be an interesting use for dehaze. But let me just show you the before and after of what we're looking at here with pushing these colors around. So I've got a couple of snapshots. Let me go to the before. These are the original colors. So you can see this orange is very deep and the blue of the bikes in the background also uh, reasonably rich. And then after making them pastel, really kind of opens them up, makes them a little more airy, just, you know, lighter, different kind of feel to the photo. Well, let's take a look at the sliders themselves. What did we do to make this happen? Uh, let's focus on the orange bike since that's in the foreground. Using a local adjustment, so in this case I used a gradient, and if I click on that pin, this gradient is covering nearly the entire photo here. There's a color range mask being used, so if I hover on that pin, we'll only see the bicycle being affected. So that is thanks to the color range mask, selecting those oranges with the color picker, and then just fine tuning it. But here are the slider adjustments, and the key ones are dehaze, Taking that in the negative direction, that's adding in a little more white into the color. So if I undo the dehaze, you'll see that's pretty rich because I've popped saturation up very high. If I undo that so I can get that dehaze back in there, that's really the, the mix of saturation. Turn off the saturation, you see it's almost too pastel now. If I undo that. So boosting saturation and then offsetting it or letting dehaze and saturation kind of do like a tug of war, a push pull with those two sliders. And then some fine tuning. In this case, I increased highlights and increased exposure a bit just to brighten things up a little more. Exposure had a, a bit more of an effect before the exposure, after. Highlights much more subtle before after most of those oranges are in the highlights region. But summed up, taking dehaze in the negative direction, saturation in the positive direction, target that change with a radial filter, a graduated filter, or just brushwork. And I recommend using the color range mask so you can pick exactly what colors you want. Then you can get this nice pastel look. Let's take a look one more time at the before and after here. So here's the original. And then here's the pastel version. I found it to be a nice technique and it's quite useful for certain scenes where you want those colors to be less vibrant, a little softer, just a little more mellow. Check that out, dehaze slider, play it against the saturation slider, have a little bit of fun. Hope you enjoyed the video, got questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport, have fun.